and welcome back to Bourbon Blind, where the guys drink what y'all pick. So please feel free to leave a comment in that comment section or email me at bourbonblindtasting at gmail.com and we will get your bottle on the show as fast as possible. As always, the guys don't know what they're drinking. They're going to tell you what the, bo uh, what the whiskey or rye or whatever we put in their glass tastes like. And then they're going to tell you um, how much they're willing to pay without the hype of the label. So with that being said, tonight's bottle is WD Saffle. I absolutely love it. It's 107 proof. If you like what you see tonight, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button. If you love us, head on over to our Patreon page. And if you would love some really awesome shirts, head on over to Teespring. We have a couple up. Um, and what else could I say? I guess that's about it. So I'm gonna go get the guys, I'm gonna hide this bottle and uh, we'll get this show started. What's up guys, welcome back to Bourbon Blind. I'm Kyle. I'm Nick. You guys know what's up. We taste whiskey, we give it a price tag, no hype of the label. Let's get in here, taste some of this whiskey. Bourbon, probably bourbon. I mean, it would make sense based on the channel and the whole premise of things. Right. right? I think there's a total of like, maybe two bottles of scotch in this entire house. Mm. 600 bottles of whiskey, two bottles of scotch. Two more bottles than I have in my house. And a couple bottles of Irish whiskey, because I do like an Irish whiskey every now and then. It's interesting. It is. Kind of light. Not a ton there. Mm -hmm. Got some decent color, like a nice golden amber color. Some vanilla, some baking spices. Yeah. Of course you get, you know... Some sugar, some sweetness. I don't really get much ethanol or anything mm. off of it. Yeah, I mean, that's... It's pleasing. Yeah. There's just not, like, oh my god, in there. Mm -mm. So, anyway, cheers, sir. Cheers. Ooh, that was a good one. That was a good one. More heat than I expected. A little bit, yeah. It's almost like a... Like a spiciness aspect. Yeah. Like, I do get some, some like baking spices on there, like that clove, nutmeg kind yeah. of. Some spiciness, kind of some real faint sweetness. Yeah, a little bit of caramel hanging back yeah. in there. I was but thinking not, about that. Not a lot. No. It's not. It's like the nose. It's not. It's pleasing, but it's yeah. not. There's just not a lot there. No, I don't think it's. I don't know. This would be uh, one of your famous couch pours. It, this would totally be a couch pour. Yeah. Yeah. Which, again, it's not anything bad. No, there's it's nothing not, wrong with that. It's not negative. No. You just don't want, you know, a $200 couch pour. No. Like, no. A couch pour is basically something you can just pour, like, up to here on, sit by the couch, enjoy it, but not, like, it's not something you want to really just dig into and yeah. find every note about it. And, um, you know, it's just something you can just kick back and enjoy it. Sit around a you know um, campfire or out back or something with sure. some of your friends and just a kickback couch pour. Right. Yeah, it's a couch pour. Something you probably wouldn't pour in Glen Carey. You'd probably bring a rocks glass out with you and give yourself mm -hmm. a real strong pour out of it. And just, right, and just have fun. Just go to town. Yeah. Also, wouldn't be upset if somebody used this as a mixer. No, but at the same time, like, would be totally fine drinking it by. Yeah, time. yeah. Like, I'm totally good with where it's at. You really not. Uh, this was all in my second not, sip. Not. I got. I got short pour. Short fill. A little muted. A little more sweetness. Brought out some of that ethanol. There really wasn't much yeah. ethanol before the water. Yeah, it just kind of muted everything a little bit. It's just. It's there. Yeah. Made it more creamy, but more acidic. Real acidic. Yeah. A little bit creamier, but it's it's hard to get past the acidity that comes up. Right. Um, also muted the ethanol, like the heat that was there, the spiciness. Yeah. It turned it into more of like an acidic, acidity. Acidity. Acidimonity. Acid not cinnamon or cinnamon. It's acidimonity. It's not a synonym. Synonym rolls. It's an anemone. 
Yeah, that's much better without the water. But, I mean, like we said, even without the water, there's just not a ton. It's not bad. I'm just not... No. I'm not in love with it. Not over the moon about it, but I would gladly go to my cabinet, even with all the bottles in there, and grab some, grab this, and be happy. Yeah. Pop on the couch it's in front of a movie and just not really pay attention to what you're drinking. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Like I said, like out with your friends or something, and yeah. just get a solo cup, pour it up to that... You know, that second line, like a third. Just or third line or whatever. Yeah. You do you. We're not here to right. judge. <laughs> How you drink is your business. Right. I mean, obviously, um, don't drink and drive. but you No. Know. I'm, I'm probably in this a solid 30, 40 bucks. Yeah, I'd say that's probably my, my hard cap is I'm, I'm probably more comfortable with like the 25 to 35 range, but I'm right. in that same realm for sure. Yeah, I'm. I enjoy it. It's good. Yeah. It's just not anything like... It's fine, but it's nothing that'll light your fire. Crazy over the moon or anything. Yeah, good. Let's see what it is. Are you ready? Let's do this. It's not a big bottle. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. WB Saffle. All right. This is, um... It's out of wild turkey... Technically, I don't think it's a wild turkey product. Right. Um, but the Russells definitely had a hand in making this. And um, 107 proof. Did not drink like that at all. No. Mm -mm. No, I drank like, like 100, 95 to 100. No, I was going to say, it, to me, drank like probably low to mid 90s, 90, 95. Yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. Kentucky straight bourbon yeah. whiskey. So. Distilled and bottled by the American Medicinal Spirits Company, Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Luckily, it doesn't taste like medicine. Mm -mm. It tastes a lot better than that. <laughs> I mean, I would take that if prescribed by the doctor. Absolutely. Yeah, I, that's kind of weird, though. I really thought I liked it more than that. Yeah. When I tasted it on its own. And that's why but we do it blind. That's why we do it blind, man. Sometimes you just don't know. W.B. Saffel opened a distillery of his own with grit, determination, and his signature sour mash. His delicate golden Kentucky bourbon became a treasure of pre-prohibition America. That. That's quite some marketing right there. <laughs> every bourbon needs a story, man. Every bourbon needs a story, every... and every story needs a bourbon. That's right. Oh, I like that. I know. Boom. Boom sauce. Boom sauce. So, um, anyway, hashtag boom sauce in the comments. And uh, until Friday, noon central next week, cheers. Drink blind. Finally drink.